Pep Talk UK, Kobe's in Northwest London, humble the greats, humble the greats, including a man that's uh, without the belt. I can't believe that I'm actually going to introduce the Boominator Heavy D without the blue strap, um, the Celebrity BC belt. Yeah. Um, what happened? Uh, a defeat. Well, do you know uh, what? Jack Shaw. Thing about it is right, is everybody told me before I had this fight, I had a big big fight last night, straight in the gym today, no messing, no days off. But I had the fight last night, the fight was at 12, 12 o'clock, I got in at 3.30, uh, and then I went straight to the gym this morning. He allegedly beat me, I don't think he did, everyone was there inside to told me that, that, that I won that fight. Um, the video's out there. You've got loads of people who filmed the fight. Um, I'll give you um, how the fight went down. Um, the fight came about, we fought, we fought for prostate cancer. Very, very um, worthwhile ca um, charity. Um, so, but Jack has been, he's been, he's been really, really um, run up his mouth. He's a big guy. I mean, let's say it right. I mean, he's like, he's a man mountain. And, um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, like when 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 we had the weigh-in the day before. I mean, he he dwarfed me, and I was like, and then he grabbed me, and I thought, and I I done things which which aren't in the boxing textbook. I grabbed my belt. My belt's pretty heavy, and I tried to whack him with it, and it hit the advertising hoardings, and luckily it didn't connect because there might not have been a fight. You know, but you know, I'm from the streets, man. I'm from the mean streets, man. You know, you know, you don't grab me up like that. Do you know what I mean? And I'm gonna I'm gonna pick something up, and obviously. I'm a role model to kids, and I don't want to be like that. Do you know what I mean? But come on, man! Like you know, he's a big guy. To be honest, with you, I was I was a bit worried. Like him grabbing me like that. Do you know what I mean? Like I was a bit worried for my safety. Do you know what I mean? It's like you know, he's a big guy. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I, after that, and I felt a bit of his strength as well. And I thought, and he, 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 I mean, I don't know if he put that in my head. I don't know, but I thought myself, shit. Like he, he, you know, what I mean? he literally, he literally, like, you know what I mean? Like. Fuck no, I couldn't, I couldn't push him off him, push him off him. Fuck, I've got to fight this fucker tomorrow. So he gave me food for thought. I thought, but boxing's not about that. Boxing is about how many times you hit. Boxing is about, is about who's, boxing's a lot, is a lot at 80% mental. It's not about just brute force or, or just how big you are. <coughs> There's more to it. Boxers are arts, it's a noble art. And um, so I thought, so I've got box clever. I got box clever. So obviously I've been training with some great people. I've been training with them without trying to be flesh. You know, Ben Davis and Barry Smith. You know, training with the likes of like, you know, O'Hara, Davis, O D, as I like to call him. You know, some of the greats. Um but I don't like to show off. But um so um like, you know, my pedigree of the people that I was mixing it with was like different different level. So, but at the end of the day, I thought he's a big guy. So basically, we went into we went into it, we went into it. Um, but you, and you feel the grief that the correct decision was taken away from you. Uh, I saw hmm. via stream you seem pretty upset with the judges. I mean, talk to me about why you were so upset. Um, well, it was on Lee Eaton's stream. You probably saw that great commentary by Lee. I got to say, it's very funny. It's about the thing about you no, know, it's about exposure. It's more exposure to the to the white collar sport. Um, the fact that you know big people in the boxing world are watching, they're watching what we're doing on the white collar game. Because don't forget this, I put white collar celebrity boxing on the map. Remember that me and Lewis Blore, classic. Um, me, I mean, I got KSI started in this business, and KSI Joe Weller. They took the blueprint from me and Lewis Blore. So, I'm a pioneer. You know, I'm a G in this business, yeah? I'm an OG in this business, a celebrity boxing guy, yeah? And for them to treat me that way, that they treated me, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the mainstream boxing into the, the white collar. And like, you got, you got people like, who are boxing heads, who are watching my fight, which is bringing exposure to it. Um, you, get, you don't get no one else like this. You get the other reality TV stars. The boxing world don't care about them. They care about Heavy D. They, they, they care. You know you've got the people watching yesterday on, on Lee in the stream. 
They all watch all the boxing people, Sam Jones, um, um, Spider Richards, Dean White, um, Old Old D, O'Hara Davis, and all the rest are watching. They're watching James Bond. They're watching about what's going on with my fight. You know, they don't care if anyone knows fights, man. They, 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 if any celebrity fights, they don't care, mate. And I've earned my props in this game. I've earned my props in this business, right? Yeah. And for the judges to treat me like that. The OG of celebrity boxing, yeah? <laughs> and to give me, a, like, and to treat me like that. I put some respect on my name. Don't take my belt. Don't skate my belt. Don't rob me of my belt. Yeah? Earn it. Deserve it. You did deserve that belt, Jack. You had the judges in your pocket. You had the referees in your pocket. You had the promoter in your pocket. And you still had to cheat it. You still had to, you still had to, had to, had to punch me after the bell. You still had to headbutt me. Because you couldn't, even if you had all the cards stacked up in your favour, you still had to cheat. And it was a charity fight. Mate, how can you sleep with yourself? You got my belt and you call yourself a champion. Champions don't move like that, bro. Champions don't move like that. Champions move with dignity. You know what I mean? And you know what they do, right? Yeah? Champions, if they do, if they do get a lucky break, right? Yeah? Or whatever reason, or this year, or something is something is untowards, they'll give out the rematch straight away, straight away. And you know what, right? Yeah? If you want this rematch, yeah, you got to come onto my hometown now, onto my turf. Because I came there to your turf. I came to Colchester. I came there with all your people, all your big judges, all your big referees, all your big fucking promoters. I came there onto your turf, and I still beat you. I still beat you. It reminds me of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. I still beat your ass. Now you've got to come onto my turf and beat me with, with neutral judges, neutral referees, a neutral promoter. And see if we get the same result, Jack. Because you ain't going to get it, man. But do it. If you're a champion that you say you are, you took my belt, let's do it. Tyson Fury has just recently changed his trainer, yeah. Ben Davison. Mm. Do you feel like once the rematch comes and it's announced that you know you might have to uh, consult Tyson Fury on what to do as a comeback, maybe you know add to your your, your coaching team. What do you mean to add Tyson Fury to my coaching team? Uh, uh, anyone, anybody to your coaching team to help you to to get that win next time against this massive man in a. Well, do you know what I mean? You know, I, you know, that I, sure. At the end of the day, is right. Yeah. When all said and done, I asked Tyson Fury to spar me, and he wouldn't spar me. No, no, I mean, you can read from that what you will. Maybe Tyson Fury sees something in me that he, he, he don't, you know, he don't really want to deal with, you know what I mean? Like, you know, he must have seen, he must have seen on some of my training videos on Instagram, he thought, you know what, man, that heavy D is a bit tasty. So, do you know what I mean? Like, you know what? No. That was when Billy Joe called you into the ring in Hatfield. Yeah, that's right, Billy, that's when I had the belt. But you know what? Man, I, I can't believe it, man, the belt's not here. I can't believe it either. It's mad. You believe in the belt and that belt, we've gone on a journey together. And the fact that they've, 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 they've robbed me of my belt. And that's all it is. But as I said right here, the real people know. The real people out there, the real, the real boxing fans, the real people, like, they know what happened. The people who's there that night, there's loads of cameras, there's loads of videos circling around. You will know, you will know. When you see a man headbutt someone, that is a disqualification. If a man punches it after the bell, then you get might get a warning. Then if you do it twice, that's the point taking the deduction, right? Yeah? He fouled both. So this got two points. Two points if you should take away from him, right? Yeah? So I will one anyway. I'll beat him anyway. But the fact of the matter is, I mean like, you know, it's it is the rematch. But the instant rematch, it's got to come on my terms. You can't go with the same promotion. I'd have to be a fool to do that. You gotta change you gotta to come to my town now. Come to my town. Yeah, and that's how you do it. So the bigger picture is rematch, and then the likes of uh, mm -hmm. Joe Weller, do you know what? KSI. Listen, all the big names. This guy, right? I don't like to leave things um, unfinished, and you no. Know and the fact of the matter is, like, he's he's in my life a little bit longer than what I'd, I'd want. I don't want this guy. Well, it's, it's supposed to be in my life for like two months. Now it's going to be a lot. It's going to be another. It's going to be another four, three, four months. And and, and you know what? And I, I didn't want this. I want to do it, I tried to knock him out. And now, it looks like we've got to do it again. So all the names that are, that are all the names are calling me out. Stephen Bear, they're calling me out. Fame MMA, they tried to call me out. 
They want me. Chaz and Real Talk is calling me out. These guys, they need me. Boxing needs me. Fighting, celebrity fight, they need me. They need me. If they know without me, it's dead. It's dead. No one can hype or sell a fight better than me. Nobody. No one. I'm the OG in this bitch. The OG. And you all better recognise this. And put some respect on my name. All you judges, all you bitch ass judges right here, and all you referees, man. You obviously didn't fucking Google me first, man. You're not respecting me enough, man. It's wrong. But anyway, it is what it is. But the second time around, man, lightning not striking the same place twice. You've done me once, but you won't do me again the same way. Trust me. Because this time, it's going to be... This time? This time, it's going to be... It's going to be... Uh, on an even kill. Yeah? None of you are all pally pally. All go to the car with me together. All in your, in your WhatsApp group chats. All pally. None of that bullshit, mate. Let's make it. You don't know the judges. You don't know the referee. The referee ain't going out with your sister's. Um, uh, 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 referee going out with your bloody sister's mate. None of that shit. None of that fucking intertwining shit. Make it neutral, man. Make it right. You've got a responsibility to make this right. But anyway, that's it. I've got to finish business, I've got to take care of this business, man, because my belt just believes it, 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 um, it, it's mine, it's still mine. I'm still the people's champion. People still see me as a champion, and I'm still the champion. He's not the real champion, he's a paper champion. <laughs> right? If you, want it, if you want it, we can do it. Rematch, let's set it up. As I said, I've got future boxing, I've got bad boy promotions, I've got boxing promoters lining up to, to do this fight. Lining up in London, Troxy, York Call, let's get this on. Let's get this on, man. I'm, listen, I feel aggrieved, man. Like, I've got to see something a lot of people warn me about this. If you don't knock him out, you're not going to get a decision. No way in his hometown, you're not going to happen. There's no home fire, it's not going to happen. And look what's happened. I got robbed. You nut someone. You don't nut someone and win the fight. Come on, man. That's a fucking disqualification offence, man. Come on, man. Everyone knows this. Fucking headbutting me in front of everyone. And the referee, the referee didn't see it. What is he, Stevie Wonder? How can the referee not see it? Oh, I didn't see that. I saw everything else, though. I didn't see the fact that he fucking put his... He's fucking... He put his nut on me. So you're saying the referees were Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles? Is Damn that right. Damn right. Damn right, man. Fucking hell, the referee. The referee must have been fucking, must be reading Brow that night, man. <laughs> Please take, bruv. Liberty. Liberty. Liberty, bruv. Anyway, anyone can just look at my Instagram. You can see, you can see the, um, you can see, you can see the, 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 him head by me. Maybe if you, maybe you can put it uh, uh, on, on this, on this, on this video. A little clip of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, to let the people know. That's possible. I mean, let the people know. Let them see it for themselves. Put it at the start at the end. Let them see that it for themselves, right? Yeah? And they can see what's going on. Do you know what I mean? The other days, <clears throat> that's the way to see it. See us believing. The camera doesn't lie. Well, you'll be back. And I think you probably want to take some inspirational words from the likes of Tunde Ajay. Oh. Dream it. Believe it. Dream it. Believe it. But also, yeah, you must dream it and you must believe it. But also, don't, right? Don't bring your belt to, 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 uh, to somewhere where they all know each other and they're all pals. Because you're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna get ripped off, man. They're gonna, they're gonna stitch you up, mate. I've got six up, man. Well, heavy look. Yeah. I like to say, look, just uh, enjoy Christmas. Yeah. Tuck you know what, the man, everyone's been saying that to me, saying enjoy Christmas. I'm back in the gym, I was in the gym. I thought last night I was in the gym this morning. So I'm not, I'm, I, I might just have one of the, I might have the day off. But you know what, everyone says enjoy Christmas. Listen, if I join Christmas, I, I put on freestyle. So I'm not going to be enjoying Christmas, I'm going to carry on training. I'm going to have the, the, the mindset of a champion. Even though I haven't got the blue belt around my, around my, around my, um, around my shoulder, I still have to train like a Champion. Yeah, them 4 a.m. runs, them 3 a.m. runs. Well, I won't go that far. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, <laughs> what I'm saying, like, like basically, like... <laughs> 10 a.m., right? Okay. 10 10 a. 11 a.m. runs. Yeah, 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 yeah. But basically, you know what I'm trying to say? is like, you know, um, I've got to train harder now. Um, 
I, I, even more so, because I know next time, next time I've got to do a proper number then. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, and, you know, it's a bigger fight now. It's a bigger fight now. I think it's a bigger fight now. Um, so, let's see. And let's see. I've got this promotion why. Oh, Jack, all you'll do is say the word. If you want to do it, let's get it on. Let's sort it out, man. Like, if, you're, if you, listen to me. If you are the champion you say you are, right, and, you know what I mean, you don't deserve that belt, man. That blue belt, it don't suit you, bro. <laughs> it don't suit you. That belt don't suit you, man. The belt blue doesn't suit you. It don't suit you, bro. It suits me. It's been a pleasure as always. I'd like to uh, thank the Boominate Heavy D. Yeah. And, um, but most important thing, I just want to say one last thing, man. Big up my, big up my sponsors, man. TF, JFW Build, yeah. All right, Jamie, big them up, my yeah. Always on my back from day one. I want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to all the people that came out to the fight and to all the people that, you know, donated and raised money for prostate cancer. Great cause. Um, I'm also, I'm also um, auctioning, not auctioning, I'm, I'm donating my shorts to prostate cancer so I mean, they can, they can, um, you know, the boom their shorts and they can, uh, you know, they can auction it off for charity and, you know, my fight shorts. So, so it's all positive at the end of the day. Every, every cloud is a silver lining. Uh, I'm still, I'm enjoying life and, you know, you know, staying in the gym and, you know, and, you know, just, just uh, living my best life. Lovely plate of steam tonight. Lovely plate of steam, you know what I mean? Of course, man, I celebrate with plate of steam because you know what? I put all the hard work in, I've done what I had to do. Everyone around me is happy. I was the gym that said, you know what? You put it in. You put it in. We see what happened. That guy should be disqualified. Listen to me. All that matters is, is that my, my peers and my, and my supporters, and they're all proud of me. They're proud of me. And that's all that matters to me. I, I left everything that room. I left everything in the ring, do you know what I mean? I, no, I, I put it all in the line. I put 100% into that. You know, at the end of the day, I felt the guy's power, he put it all in there. But I, I've got no regrets. I've got, the only things I've got a problem with is the judges and the referees. I ain't got a problem, I ain't got a problem so much with him because he, he put it in, do you know what I mean? Whatever he done, whatever, all the policy and all that sort of stuff, listen man, do you know what I mean? That's, you know, that's, that's the precise point. Fact is, we both had a good script for charity, prostate cancer, and let's dance again, baby. Let's do it, let's do it again. And a big shout out to my corner. Freezy, my bones. Freezy, love you, bro. Thank you for having my back. Thank you for being in my corner. Mate, listen to me. Anybody like who wants someone is he's the best, the best corner to have, I'm telling you, man. The guy was proper. Wicked Freezy, man. This is what we're gonna do loads of things in the future. Big up. Big up. We out. Double D podcast coming soon. Double D podcast coming. You know. Pep no. talk, we out. Subscribe.